Okay, um, I'm going to show you now how to um, set up the Vienna Ensemble with both uh, Logic and Digital Performer. So let's start with Logic first. So the first thing I want to do is to launch my Vienna Ensemble. In this case I'm sending, um, I'm launching my Vienna Ensemble Pro server 64-bit. After um, this uh, loads up, I'm going to create my um, main instances for my orchestral uh, template. And what I'm going to create is an instance for strings, one for woodwinds, and one for uh, brass and percussion. So I'm going to click on the Add button, and I'm going to call this instance strings. As you see, my mixing board shows up right here. Then I'm going to add another one that I'm going to call Woodwind. And I'm going to create a third one that I'm going to call Brass and Percussion. I'm going to work on the string first. And I can populate this any way I want. So what I'm going to do is to insert some instruments and I'm going to just show you um, uh, um, how to get started and then you can populate your instance with as many um, instruments as you want. So I'm going to um, add a Vienna instrument first. I can do it either by clicking down here or by control clicking or right clicking and clicking on add Vienna instrument. So the first instrument I'm going to set up is going to be for um, Violins 1. So I'm going to make sure I have a patch selected here. Go to my Special Edition Patches, Orchestral String, and I'm going to put Violin 1 Sustain. If I need a different uh, additional art articulation, I can just expand my metrics here, and I'm going to add, for example, Staccato and pizzicato. Now I'm going to name this channel right here by double clicking violin 1. I can go back to the master view by clicking on the master bus. Now I'm going to add a second instrument which I'm going to use for the viola so I'm going to go back to orchestral strings I'm going to use um, sustained viola and I'm going to add um, my staccato and pizzicato. And of course, you can uh, customize it the way you want. I'm going to name this violas. Also, I'm going to use the Vienna Mir. So, automatically, I add my Vienna Mir Pro. Um, connected right there, or better inserted on each channel. Next, I need to make sure that each channel is receiving on a different MIDI channel. So I'm going to click there and say this is going to receive on 1, this is going to receive on 2. In addition, I'm going to set, instead of Omni, I'm going to set the instance on plugin MIDI 1 for all of them. I would keep doing the same for my uh, Woodwind and for my brass and percussion. Once I'm done with all my settings, um, I'm gonna launch my DAW. In this case, I'm gonna launch uh, Logic Pro. I'm gonna start a new project. And I need to add a software instrument, but this software instrument needs to be multi-timbral, and I'm going to do a multi-timbral software instrument with 16 parts, so I can uh, access all my 16 MIDI channels. I'm going to click Create, and I have my 16 tracks, and now, as you can see, they're all assigned to uh, software instrument 1, which is what I want, but if I click on a track and I open up the 
information about the, the track, I can see that each different track is assigned to a different MIDI channel, which is exactly what I want. But they are all sent to the same instrument. So on the first track, I'm going to make sure that as an instrument, I'm going to insert an instance of Vienna Symphonic Library, Vienna Ensemble Pro, either stereo or multi-output. I usually like multi-output so I have more control over uh, my mixing board and my mixing options later. At this point I need to connect this instrument one to one of my instances of Vienna Ensemble Pro. And I will start with strings. So I'm going to click connect and make sure that I match the bit resolution of um, the Vienna Ensemble server running and I'm going to click on strings. Now I made that connection. So when I send some MIDI data from here it's going to go all the way to my string MIDI channel 1 in this case, violin 1 the audio is generated, it goes back to master bus from the master bus goes back to my instrument. Let's try. I can bring up my um, track here. I'm going to just create um, a new um, region. I'm going to just insert some some notes. Go. And now when I play it back, and I can see it's being played by my violins. Okay. If I now need to um, work on my cellos, or sorry, on my violas, I will have this track which is sent to my violas instead. I'm just going to copy this part here. I'm going to mute it. I'm going to mute this so I can hear the. And these are my violas. Okay. Um, I can name, I should rename the track, so I, these are my violins and these are my cellos, sorry, violas, and so on. I would keep going. Now if I need to work on my brass um, or my woodwinds, for example, I'm going to select the last one of this instance and just as a reminder that these are all my strings, I can just change the icon if I want um, so that um, um, you know it's a little bit easier to um, um, you know to to, to 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 know what what I'm dealing with. So I can just control click on the icon, select strings, and just can just generically put an icon like this. It means I know that those are all strings or I could change them by one by one saying um, these are my um, violins and these are my uh, violas. I sometimes I find it distracting but sometimes it's actually useful to have it. Oh, I can color code them too. Now if I want to add my woodwinds I will need to add another instance of my VN ensemble. And so I will simply select the last track of my inst first instrument and I'm going to add another software instrument, multi timbral, um, and click create. And as you can see, now I have an instrument 2 that also goes from channel MIDI channel 1 all the way to MIDI channel 16. And on my instrument 2, I'm going to insert another Vienna Ensemble Pro. multi-channel, multi-output. I'm going to connect it, but this time not to the strings, but I'm going to connect it to my woodwind. 
and so now these will represent my woodwinds and this is how you um, you would um, set up logic with the Ensemble Pro. Uh, one more thing is that you definitely want to make sure that you save your VN Ensemble Pro server settings so you can use it for future references. For future reference, so I would just go to my VN Ensemble Pro server and select Save Meta Frame, and this could, would be my orchestral template. That saves everything, all the three instances with all the settings that I have. Now let's take a look at Digital Performer and how to set it up. So the settings for the Vienna Ensemble uh, server are exactly the same. Right, so I would exactly do the same setting that I did uh, for uh, the previous example. So I launch the VN Ensemble Pro, create three instances, set up each instance with the instruments I need, make sure that you set up your MIDI channels and your plugin MIDI for each instance. And then let's launch our uh, digital performer. So the system is very similar to what we did for Logic. The only difference is that I'm not going to use um, I have a little more flexibility when I when it comes to assigning MIDI tracks. So I'm going to start a new project. And at this point, what I need to do is to add an instrument track with Vienna Symphonic Library Ensemble Stereo. And as we did before, I'm going to connect it, connect it to 64-bit strings instance. And now it's running. Once I do that, in my output of my MIDI tracks, I have a new option, which is the Vienna Ensemble Pro 1, which is going to be my string um, instance. And I'm going to select the track. I'm going to call it Violin. And now if I record enable that track, the MIDI signal is sent to my Violin instance. The audio is generated here and sent back through the master bus to my Vienna Ensemble Pro 1. For the woodwind and the brass, I would do the same. I would add a new track and I would connect it to my woodwind now. And now, if I want to, for example, for example, have a flute, I would send it to my Vienna Ensemble Pro 2, which is my woodwind, which is the channel 1. And in that case, I would have to make sure that my um, in my woodwind instance, I will have a flute patch assigned to channel one of that instance. So I could have a sustain, and then have uh, staccato, for example. Right, this is my and. Um, now, from the P, that is sent to violin. Sorry, sent to flute. Vienna Ensemble Pro Two, MIDI Channel One. Let's double check the the MIDI channel assignment is set up. And I'm all set to send some uh, data that can just insert with my pencil. And here we go.